The Devils held their own against the Carolina Hurricanes today for 55 minutes before letting it all slip away and eventually falling 3-2 to two in overtime. The gameplay today for the Devils was really solid and they kept one of the top teams in the league scoreless for almost the entirety of regulation. The first period ended without a goal for either team, but in the second, Igor Sharangovich scored, assisted by Boquist and Severson on the power play to end the power play drought the New Jersey team has been fighting through for the last 11-plus games. Prior to this Sharangovich score, the Devils were 0-30 for 30 in their last 30 power play opportunities. In the third period, Captain Nico Heischer scored, assisted by Nikita Ohotuk and Igor Sharangovich to bring the Devils up to 0 the Canes found a way to fight back, though, and bring this game to overtime after Shea and Niederreiter were able to find the back of the net, sliding their pucks past John Gillies. Once in overtime, Seth Jarvis sealed this one shut and handed the Devils yet another loss this season. Though they did not win today, there was a lot of good that came from this match. Nikita tallied his first career assist and received his first ever NHL penalty minutes. These came for roughing. Gillies looked really strong in net after extensive time off, and Nico Heischer continued to show just how strong he is on the ice. Since the All-Star break, Heischer has tallied 35 points in 30 games. Here is what Coach Ruff had to say about the captain after the game. Just, you know, I, 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 there's nobody in the team that's outworking him. Uh, his puck battles have been, you know, phenomenal. You know, board play, uh, winning one-on-one -on -one battles. Uh, you know, he gets a step now, and, and he's taken to the net uh, and creating a lot of his own opportunities. Uh, you know, for this last, you know, two, three months, this is, I think we got, the real Nico now, after dealing with all the injuries he dealt with last year and, and what he dealt with early this year, uh, his game has, has really been good. Today was just the first half of a back-to-back -back series that continues tomorrow with the Devils as they host the Detroit Red Wings at 1 p.m. in what is their second-to-last game at home of the season. Until tomorrow, for WFUV Sports, I'm Samantha Bohr.